Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is prepositional phrase 16. The prepositional phrase today is at death's door. Okay, let's take a look at the note here. If we say that someone is at death's door, it means uh, that a person is very ill and is likely to die soon or is very near the end of one's life. So maybe they're really, really old. Maybe they're like 99 or 100 or something, and they don't look good. Uh, then you might say somebody looks like they're at death's door, okay? Uh, if we say that something, you know, such as a business, industry, profession, etc., is at death's door, it means it will soon end, um, be gone, become obsolete, etc. Okay, let's continue. Um, some say this phrase came about due to the idea that the state of death is like an entranceway, possibly into another dimension of afterlife. Like after you die, it's almost like you go through a door into another dimension, into another place, into where the afterlife is. One of the earliest sightings uh, goes back to the 1500s by Miles Coverdale in a biblical translation so a translation from the bible so it wasn't originally his words but he translated some some passages from the bible and here is the quote to bring unto death's door so that was you know where it may have originally come from this phrase was also used by shakespeare shakespeare liked this too so it appeared in some of his plays okay and uh, let's look we have several examples here here's the first example uh, he is an advanced stage of that disease. I hate to say it, but I think he is at death's door. You know, maybe you, some people might say it that way. Um, many survivors were at death's door uh, when they were rescued from concentration camps at the end of World War II. Yeah, have you ever seen some of those poor people in concentration camps, you know, the Jewish ones in, in Germany or even some of the ones in Japan, you know, they're really thin, they were skin and bones. And, you know, you never know if the war lasted a lot longer, maybe even they would have would have not survived it. Okay, good. And uh, here's our last example. Uh, when DVDs hit the market, it was only a matter of time before VHS tapes were at death's door. So you could use it that way. That's kind of like in the going obsolete way. All right, anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it was clear. I hope it was informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.